Hey, this is Paul Corvino, Division President of iHeart Media in Los Angeles, California, with our pre election segment called Meet the Candidates. Today I'm here with Daniel Bocic Martinez, a Republican running for Congress in the 31st Congressional District. Welcome, Daniel. Thank you very much for having me. Hey, before we get going, because this, this interview is about having our people get to know the candidates, we're going to do a little quick rapid fire QA. Beautiful. Fun stuff. We would get your brain working and your mouth moving. You ready? Well, it's, a, it's a quick, it's rapid fire. Okay. Beach or ski vacation? Whoa, ski vacation. Michael Jordan or Tom Brady? Michael Jordan. Beatles or Stones? Beatles. Star Wars or Godfather? Godfather. Sean Connery or Daniel Craig? Sean Connery. Celebrity people say you remind them of? Ooh, Brad Pitt. <laughs> <laughs> We'll go with that one. <laughs> so welcome again, Danny. So, so, so tell me, what area does your district cover? Um, my, dis- the, my district starts in Monrovia, if you're heading east on the 210, and then goes to San Dimas, Laverne, and then go south on the 57. Um, you, you hit the 60, 60 west. Back. Pretty much the Inland Empire? San Gabriel Valley. San Gabriel Valley. From the mountains down to the 60. And the 60, okay. Yeah. So give us a little bit of... Um, background where you're from and how you got to the point where you decided that you wanted to get into politics yeah absolutely um i was born in pasadena so just outside of the district but my, i was living in duarte at the district of time my parents were legal permanent residents from chile when i was born and um, i was lucky enough to go to private school prep school my entire life i ended up um, attending damien high school the catholic high school in the area um, went down to university of san diego where i got degrees in psychology history, philosophy, and then I stayed for law school. Um, as far as politics goes, I was always uh, interested in politics since 9-11. Um, I was, in, 9/11, uh, I was in, in senior high school when 9-11 happened, and that's when my interest in foreign policy began. And I was, I had issues, reservations with the war in Iraq, the war in Afghanistan, and I was not a Republican at the time. I actually was, was kind of worried that the Republican foreign policy was causing problems. But then as... Um, I, I chose my candidates based off of uh, foreign policy and non-intervention. And then the Democrats betrayed me on that front. Uh, when, it, uh, during the time of, when we were, during the time when the, when we were holding citizen, I mean, we, we were holding human beings in Guantanamo Bay without trial, without lawyers, I was in law school and I was writing a paper on why, if you're going to hold human beings in a box, they're entitled to certain due process rights. And that became something that was just primarily important. What do you say are uh, the major issues that need to be addressed in your district? The the primary and, and what do you plan on doing about it? The primary issue in the district is the is the economy, um, inflation, um, the loss of the American dream. Young people these days have no conceivable way to imagine per, uh, home, owning a home, raising a family, and if you want to address address economic issues and inflation, you have to address foreign policy. Because foreign, pol- foreign policy, specifically with countries that produce oil, it's intricately related to overall inflation. The cost of energy goes up, the cost of everything goes up. And so if you have, the, if you have Eurasia, um, Ukraine and Russia on fire, and you have the Middle East on fire, and you're going to have prices that rise. And if, you, and if you spend $200, $300 billion a year on foreign policy, then that's money that's not spent domestically on education, it's not spent on health care, and it's not spent on those issues. How, how would you measure success? Oh, uh, measuring success in my first term? Your first term. So um, well, domestically, the issue that I, pri- that I prioritize highest above all is um, I work with a group of veterans in PTSD, traumatic brain injury, and suicide mitigation. And that's something that we don't hear very often from any political party because the issue is complex. And there's certain types of treatment protocols that are not yet available at the VA. And uh, if those, if I could change the rules, because when you run for Congress, you hold the pen to change the laws and change the rules. If you could make it so the veterans have access to these life th- life-saving treatments that they're not presently have access to, if that was the only thing I accomplished in two years, and the only thing I accomplished in Congress, I would be happy. Thank you. Well, hey, we've uh, again we've been here with uh, Daniel Bocic Martinez who's a Republican running for Congress in the 31st Congressional District. Thank you, Daniel, for being on. This is Paul Corvino, the Division President of iHeart Media 
in Los Angeles saying thank you for listening to our new segment called Meet the Candidates. Thank you very much.